Hello there. This is an ignition spark tester. And in this video, I'll explain what it is, then plug it into an engine and show you how to work it. It's also gonna be worth going over one or two safety points because I, for one, don't want to get electrocuted. Welcome to a Sparky Cast By TV. Okay, let's start with the basics so we have absolute clarity. This, of course, is a spark plug, and for the engine to run properly, electricity has to leap between this central electrode here and the grounding electrode here. The electricity has to literally leap across this gap. Clearly, therefore, your car's ignition system has to consistently produce enough electricity to always leap across that gap on the spark plug. This tool enables you to check three things. Number one, that the ignition system is generating electricity. Number two, that it's consistently generating electricity. And number three, you can roughly measure how much electricity it's producing. So let's have a closer look. Ooh. So here is our ignition spark tester. And let's start by having a look at this gold colored tip on the end here. That tip has to connect to the ignition wire of your car. And look, you like this. If it doesn't fit too well, you can remove this little adapter from the end. And there's an alternative tip that may fit a little bit better. Now, at the other end of the tool, if we follow the wire down, we have this metal clip. And that has to connect to an earthing point on the car. So find a suitable piece of metal. Now... When the engine is running, we should, if all is well, see a spark leaping from that point there to this point here, and that at least confirms the ignition system is producing electricity. Furthermore, we want to check that that electricity is consistent. It shouldn't, for example, periodically disappear for a couple of seconds. And we can also measure roughly how much electricity the ignition system is producing via this scale here written in white. So if we look here, that tip as of now lines up with that 20, and that 20 refers to 20 kilovolts, which is equivalent to 20,000 volts. And we know that to bridge that gap, the car's ignition system has to generate at least 20,000 volts. We can equally measure up to 30,000 volts by twisting out the little red handle, or indeed 40,000 volts if we go all the way to there. And just in case you're curious, SE on this scale, that stands for small engine. So it's more relevant if you're testing a lawnmower or something like that. So let's now use the ignition spark tester on this little one litre engine, which has a coil pack rather than a distributor. And I've already loosened off this ignition coil, so we can just pull that out like so. And then as I indicated earlier, we pop the tool into the end like that. Now we need to position that carefully so that the tool is at least, according to the instructions, half a centimetre away from the rest of the car and that's so that the spark travels between these two points rather than being tempted to take a shortcut. We also need to connect this earthing wire, which I'm going to do down here, because that is a easy to reach earthing point. And then there's nothing to do except start the engine and see what happens. Okay, so what can we tell by looking at the ignition spark tester? Well, we can tell that this particular ignition coil is producing electricity because there's a spark. We can also see that the spark is more or less consistent, although I have seen it drop off occasionally. That was more off camera than on. We can also see that the ignition coil is producing at least 20 kilovolts of electricity by reading the gauge. So here's one of those safety tips I promised you. Now, I know this is obvious, but I'd rather say it than not. When the engine's on and there's sparks flying around, for crying out loud, don't get anywhere near that spark because if you do touch it, well, that's gonna hurt. 
So the engine is now off and we've established that the ignition system can generate at least 20,000 volts of electricity. But nonetheless, we should see if we can do a bit more. So let's say, what do you reckon, 30? We'll try 30. So that means winding out the tool to about there and then starting the engine again. Well, that's interesting. There's no spark visible at all in the ignition spark tester. We therefore know that this ignition coil can produce 20 kilovolts of electricity, but it can't do 30. Maybe it can do something between 25, for example. Either way, that doesn't strike me as particularly impressive, but there you go, it is what it is. I should also mention that clearly it would be dangerous to use this tool if there's any fuel about, or even any fuel vapor, because well, we're dealing with an exposed spark here and the fuel is highly combustible. In fact, I'll just read to you from the instructions. It says, keep in mind too, that an explosive mix might be released through the socket of the disassembled ignition plug if the carburetor, if your car has a carburetor, has not been emptied and the fuel feed has not been disconnected. That doesn't sound good. So there you go. That's how to use an ignition spark tester. Now, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to CarSpy TV for more content. Do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you next time. Farewell.